Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Satori Genzo and welcome back once more to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, we're gonna do uh, some more freight missions here. Uh, do 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 do. Ow, I just hit the headset and the microphone, sorry about that. Uh, one to Great Britain though. A lot of money but it takes forever. I don't want any jobs that take forever. You wouldn't take too awful long and you're worth a decent amount of money. Let's try you. <gasps> oh, that's right. My guy needs to sleep, though. No, my guy needs to sleep. Oh, wait. Where was that job at? Because I'm not... Yeah, excuse me. I'm not getting an icon. It's right here where I'm at. It's that trailer. Uh... Alright, well, what we're going to do is fire the truck up, take the parking gear off, we're going to go sleep, and then hope this uh, contract is still available by the time we get back. Because my guy needs some rest. Probably also should, yeah, also should probably put some fuel in the truck is what I was uh, trying to spit out of my mouth. Yeah, I just kind of ran through that intersection without giving a flying effle hey what's up dude nice truck what kind of truck do you have is it a man what is it no oh, it's a mercedes it's nice it's a nice mercedes all right we're gonna go up here to this Hotel a little, la la la, and we're gonna rest, cause yeah, my guys only got about another 45 <sighs> minutes of road time left, as we can tell by his yawning. Jeez. Up. That's good enough. Get some rest. That yeah, contract will probably no longer be available. Oh, whoa. My people are making s some monies all of a sudden. Are they making monies? They're making money while I'm sleeping? Good. Oh, wow. She's making a ton of money all of a sudden. Parking brake. You know what? Let's leave the parking brake on for a second. Let's go to company management. Let's look at a garage. Oh, nope. Wrong, wrong, wrong type of garage view. Yeah, let's see. Okay, productivity is up. All right. Profit per distance. Five euros per distance. Eh, so she's already doing better than he is. Which is, I guess, a good thing. Ah, there we go. Okay, uh... Is that the cost of the next upgrade, or is that what we're making? That's what we're making, isn't it? 150,000. Yeah, oh, truck maintenance. Oh, that's not good. Truck maintenance is coming to play. Driver's pay is coming to play. Ugh. Ugh, guys. Average daily profit is now in play. All right, that's what I want to see. I want to see that. I want to see that number go up. Profit per distance. I make about 30. Woo! All right, let's uh, let's do this too, uh, since I'm um, since I'm at it. We're here. Oh, the Euro Goods trailer is still available. Good. All right, park and brake off. Truck and drive. Us in roll mode. Let's go. Not. <laughs> Let's go once we learn how to drive. We got almost six thousand kilometers on this truck. Nice. Inch my way up the line. Come to stop. Wait for the light to turn. Come on. I'm not running a red light and getting a ticket. Not now. 
Not now, come on. Yeah, there you go. Probably also going to stop during this trip and get fuel. Especially once I pick up the trailer, we'll see what I got. Alright, we're clear this way. We're clear this way. Yeah, we're clear. Nice. Alright, we're gonna pull into Euro Goods here and pick up our trailer. That trailer's yeah, but that trailer's not worth as much. Ooh, because this one's also a rush job. Oh, nice. Eh. All right, we're gonna shoot. Boom. <laughs> All right, so we got 347 kilometers to go in five and a half hours. We're gonna. Put on our parking brake, go here, and look. We got 580 kilometers of fuel left. We are good. Parking brake is off. We're clear to pull out. And we are gone. Checking my mirrors. Yeah, nobody's coming up on us. Alright, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Son of a bitch. I was hoping to beat the light. Wonder what that. Ah, it's a recruitment center for drivers. I was like, I wonder what that question mark thing on this map over there is, but that's what it is. Can I have the yellow at least? Oh, oh. Oh, did they, did they change it now? It used to be that as... Maybe it's just certain places, certain countries. Like Germany. Germany, I've noticed, like, when I'm in Germany, when I come up to a stoplight... It will go green, yellow, red. And then as it goes to back down to green, it'll go red, yellow, green. So I guess it's maybe just Germany? Because I'm not in Germany right now. I think I'm in the Netherlands. Actually, where in the world am I? Eh, don't show me this version. I'm over near Amsterdam, but that doesn't answer my question. Maybe I need to use this map? Yeah, this map. No. Not the world map, the job market map. Yeah, maybe it's the job market map. Yeah, I'm in the Netherlands. I was right. I don't know why I thought I was wrong, but... I had to double check. So yeah, I'm recording this one like just moments after recording the last Euro Truck uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 video so not much has happened not much has changed other than after I slept there you saw how much money my guys suddenly pulled in it's like oh hey money 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 went out on the road what's her name finally made money and it's kinda of funny she she waited to make money compared to the other guy like the other guy started working immediately she waited to start doing jobs, and she's already, like, doing better than he is. She's already like, oh, hey, he only made a couple hundred dollars. Here's, like, $2,000. She, she decided to play, like, the one-up card. It's like, oh, you think you're good. Here, try this. She's a smart ass, but she's good at what she does. Okay, I, I've also learned that the little yellow signs are like... Oh, shit. I'm glad that light back there was green, because I just blew through that. Whoops! If that was red and I would have blown through it, I would have got a ticket. But, uh... Yeah, anyways. Going back to... The characters. You know, she's already making some decent bank, and that's, that's what we need. EQ Trucking needs to... Make its money. Make its money. 
Alright, so we got plenty of fuel to get there, plenty of time to get there. Matter of fact, we got the same will arrive in four hours and fifty minutes. And they don't need the job they don't need it there for at least eight hours. So we'll arrive there in half the time they actually need it. Not bad. Not bad. I'm also exploring new roads that I've never driven before. Quiet countryside esque setting right now. Which I'm quite thoroughly enjoying. I love quiet little highway roads like this. They're pretty, they're serene, they're calm, quieting. Nice, relaxing. It's also another reason why a lot of people don't understand, like, uh, the Autobahn. They're like, I don't get it. Why do people, why do so many people die on the Autobahn? You know, it's supposed to be such a smooth, nice, safe road. Like, how come there's so many drivers? that get killed every year and why is there this thing called like ghost drivers well the thing is behind that the autobahn is such a long highway and a lot of it is like this it's just miles and miles of land and and uh nothingness in a sense that for some people it just becomes so calming that they zone out and they don't realize hey, you're now doing 110 and there's a car in front of you and by the time they snap out of it, it's either too late, they they have no chance of avoiding set vehicle or object and crashing and getting killed or they veer or they just simply veer off the road in their comatose state of bliss and crash and I can, I can uh, totally understand why, there's been times where I've played this game and like, just serene settings like this I suddenly zone out before I know it the trucks off the road going up the side of the hill I'm gonna honk the horn at this guy <laughs> truckers probably just like what the fuck I remember kids honking your horn is a sign of friendship or being an asshole flashing your headlights at somebody means be careful there's cops behind me which I actually kinda ha have to laugh uh, there was a, there's been debates back and forth for a while now about the whole flashing your headlights and oncoming traffic thing, uh, whether or not if a cop catches you doing that, if they can pull you over and ticket you for basically tipping other drivers off to a, uh, basically a stink. Well... I hadn't heard anything about it in a while. It's been quite a while since I heard people say anything about, like, the whole flashing your headlights and oncoming traffic to alert them of police officers in the direction that they're heading. Looking for speeders, you know. And normally it's something you do to truckers to let truckers be wary that, hey, there's a cop up ahead, so you better watch what you do. Well, um... I don't know why, but recently I heard, I actually heard it on the uh, local news. They were talking about it again, and uh, I think a judge here in Pennsylvania said that a driver cannot be fined for flashing their headlights to warn other drivers of police up ahead because to find someone for such an action would basically be a violation of their freedom of speech in a way. Even though you're not talking, you still have the freedom to tell another driver like, hey, there's a car, there's a cop car ahead of you. Be careful. You know, slow down. And actually, in some ways, I feel like, uh, I feel like drivers being able to flash their headlights on oncoming drivers to let them know, like, hey, there's a cop in the, uh, cop out ahead of you. I feel like sometimes that's more productive than them running into the cop themselves. Because even though, yeah, okay, the cop now gets to pull the guy over and give him a ticket, who knows? The guy could have flew past, nobody warned him. Now suddenly there's this cop that's now trying to pull him over, and who knows, this guy could be, uh, could be one of those people that just go fucking paranoid when the cops go to pull him over and they, like, freak out and stomp on it. They, like, stomp on the gas and take off like a maniac. Now they're just a hazard on the road. Where if 
the oncoming driver warns them, like with the flashing, like flashing their headlights at him, letting them know, hey, there's a cop out ahead of you. They'll maybe like, oh shit, there's cops up ahead, and slow down so, so as to not cause a disturbance or a wreck or one of those chase scenarios. So I actually think sometimes it's more convenient. Or not even convenient. What are, what's the word I'm looking for? It's sometimes it's just better, I think, that the drivers are allowed to warn the oncoming drivers of police ahead because then it gives them the chance to slow down and also maybe gets it in their mindset. Oh, the cops are out. Maybe I should actually drive responsibly and not like a fucking maniac. And that's what, uh, we're always making comments to you. Like, me and my dad are always watching, uh, videos. Uh, we've watched videos of, like, the nice and polite and kind drivers that you see over in Europe. Like, you, there's, uh, videos from, like, Russia where people are sitting at a train crossing waiting to get across, waiting to turn at a light or something. And snow's covering their back tail lights, and you can't really see their turn signals. So the driver behind them is nice enough to actually get out of his car, go up to their car, and brush the snow away from the turn signal lights and stuff, so people can see, hey, he's turning, or hey, he's stopping. You know, they, they actually go out there and be polite and help the person. And then you see these people that drive, we watch these videos where people will drive like maniacs over in Europe, and it's like, what the hell, does nobody know what a speed limit is? And to be honest, like, I think part of it is, it's not so much they don't know what a speed limit is, it's that, like like I was saying about the Autobahn and that, and like I was saying about this, sometimes it's so calming and relaxing that you're bound to just fall asleep at the wheel. Okay, sorry, I just heard something weird. I don't know if it got picked up on the microphone or not, because I'm not sure if it was outside my house or if it was in the game wait I think I hear more hold on okay it must be outside my house I heard what sounded like a siren I didn't hear it at first or didn't hear it at first when I took the headsets off real quick but uh I just heard part of it again I think the fire trucks just went screaming past the house <laughs> but anyways as I was saying I, I think that's um I think that's part of it, is a lot of drivers over in Europe, like, realize, you know, oh god, if I do the speed limit and drive this section of highway to get where I need to go, I'm gonna fall asleep at the wheel, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna zone out. So they do stupid stuff like that, like speeding and that, just to keep themselves awake, keep themselves from crashing. But then you have <coughs> the opposing human element being other drivers, you have, uh ice and rain and wind and all sorts of other factors that come into play that at the time you're not thinking about until it's too late. It's like, oh, it's snowy, but who cares? I can take it. And then your car hits one bad patch of ice and suddenly you're sliding sideways across the highway at 95 mile an hour. Now suddenly your brain's thinking, oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? Yeah, excuse me. I'm burping a lot right now. It's really weird too. I got like the taste of coffee in my mouth when I burp, and I haven't had any coffee today. What the fuck? Ugh. Yuck. That's disgusting. I mean, not that coffee's disgusting. I love coffee, but it's disgusting to have the taste of coffee in your mouth when you know you haven't had any coffee today. Ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. But yeah, I mean, I can actually see why some of these people drive like maniacs on these major highways over in Europe. It's... It's boring. Like, sometimes it can be so boring that you, like, zone, zone out, and then other times it can be so peaceful you just zone out. So you kind of got to... <sighs> Excuse me. Sometimes you just kind of got to break up the monotony and uh, do something stupid to keep yourself awake. 
keep yourself zoned in. I actually remember talking to a kid uh, from Europe. Uh, he was a mem- He's a member of the Fur Fandom. We were talking about, I think, Germany, actually, because I'm pretty sure he was from Germany. But we were talking about Germany, and uh, I said about, like, the Autobahn, and um, I said about uh, Nürburgring. Nürburgring being one of my favorite race courses. And I'd, I'd love to go to Germany. I'd love to go to the Nürburgring, and even if I could get a chance, take a ring taxi around the... Nurburgring, or even a rental car, or even better yet, take my BMW over and, you know, go around the Nurburgring. That would be cool. That'd be cool to take one of my mates M3 around the Nurburgring. That'd be so much fun. Be expensive as fuck to get it over there, though. Oh my god. I could just imagine. I mean, it may not be as, as expensive as I think, but... I could just imagine it being expensive, putting it on a plane, or a boat. Ah, oh, bus, you dick, you would block my vision on the light. And of course the turn signal mirror would block my vision on the light. Don't do it, don't do it, yeah, you turn that way, I'm gonna turn this way. Oh, you're running out of fuel, you should find a gas station. Dude, hold on. I have 30, 377 kilometers of fuel remaining, and I only got 52 kilometers left to go. Chill the hell out. <laughs> Chill the hell out, early warning system. You're going off way too soon. You don't know me. You don't know the way I drive. Damn, early warning systems. But yeah, me and this friend from uh, Germany, this kid from the fandom, we were talking about it, and uh, he's even said about how, like, even, like, turning on music, like, even if you turn on music you hate and blare it just to keep you, like, awake, to keep you focused, he's like, nah, it, it doesn't even help at times. He's admitted, he admitted to me there's been a couple times where he was on long road trips from, like, one end of Germany to another and he like just zoned the hell out he's like I don't know how I didn't wreck he's like there's because there has been a couple times where like he went by himself and that that was the other thing too that we were uh, we talked about I said yeah I noticed I noticed it's normally like somebody who's driving by themselves who gets in the accident and he was like He's like, yeah, but there's also been, like, a lot of people that have, uh, uh, you know, had other people in the car with them and still zoned out and crashed and died and, you know, got everybody else in the car either hurt or killed. And we were discussing that, and it's like, well, how often was it that the other people in the car were asleep and at the time of the accident, and that's why, like, the driver couldn't stay focused was because the company in the vehicle were asleep and couldn't entertain him to keep him awake where oh dude you dick you dick You just sit right there, you stupid bitch. I can't believe she did that. <laughs> just right in front of me. She had waited all that time. Was it because I was going too damn slow? What the fuck, bitch? Oh my god. Anyways, though, as I was saying, dear god. Stupid AI. As I was saying, uh,. You know, I was. We said how many times though was it that just the uh, company in the car were asleep at the time of the accident, and that's why the driver himself zoned out, fell as or fell asleep, and got in the accident, killing himself and or everybody. And uh, it was actually kind of surprising to see 
how many more accidents there were with other people in the car versus just one person in the car. Because there was actually a higher number than even I expected. I did not expect... Like, say for like... Every four that... Every four accidents that was like a driver by himself, there would be at least like six accidents that were with a full car. And it's like, really? So like, even with other people there to you know entertain the driver and keep the driver awake and focused even with that the uh, driver still you know, like, zoned out or fell asleep and got in an accident. Oh, we're going to this proceed building. I've been here once before on another profile. Oh god, oh god. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go before this idiot plows into the side of my truck. Oh, they actually stopped. Maybe they got the red light. But yeah, it, it was actually surprising to hear about how many, uh, how many other accidents involved multiple people in the car versus just the driver. I don't know why I'm using turn signals when I'm on the closed, uh, closed parking lot of a facility. Took the parking brake off already. Come on. But there we go, another trailer delivered. The trailer was undamaged, if not for my truck. But anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode too. Um, if you all enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm Hattori Genzo, signing off, saying good night and good luck.